The Titanic, quite frankly, can be regarded as one of the most devastating cruise ship incidents to have ever happened in the history of mankind. However, if you believe that, it's possible that you haven't heard about the others who apparently didn't make it to the big screen. Luxury cruise liners are considered to be a symbol of exquisiteness and class for all the right reasons. However, when they do end up meeting their fate, the results can be devastating. If you're someone who gets seasick easily, chances are that you won't even sit in a boat, let alone a cruise liner filled with thousands of people. Be that as it may, if you're trying to dissuade someone from taking a cruise, we've got you covered. From the Carnival Cruise Triumph to the MV Wilhelm Gustloff, here are five of the most expensive cruise ship mistakes in all history. The incident related to Carnival Cruise Triumph, or now called the Carnival Sunrise, was considered to be one of the nastiest cruise ship disasters to date. The incident happened because of a generator fire that left the ship powerless. What happened next gave birth to a late-night comedy punchline, the Poop Cruise. Left powerless and having aboard almost 4,200 passengers, it was complete chaos. Without properly functioning bathrooms, the passengers literally had to go to the bathroom in a red hazardous waste bag. Not only that, the fact that every waste bag was stuffed into the garbage cans in the hall is what made things utterly unbearable. Since the entire ship had a filthy smell and toxic fumes, the passengers were left with no choice but to sleep on the deck in makeshift tents. Based on what the passengers went through, 31 sued the company, claiming long-lasting damages, including PTSD. After trials, 27 out of 31 passengers received a sum of $118,000, which was split amongst them. The passengers on the Carnival Sunrise explained that the carpets were soaked wet with raw sewage. Being left stranded, it took around four days for the cruise ship to be towed from the Gulf of Mexico to Mobile, Alabama, where it was possible to smell the ship even from the dock. The officials from Carnival Cruise Lines gave a statement that all the passengers would be fully reimbursed and every passenger would receive $500 each in compensation talk about an experience of a lifetime, right? In the end, it's estimated to have cost over 17 million US dollars to repair the ship. The 13th of January of 2012 turned out to be a nightmare for the Italian cruise ship Costa Concordia. The unfortunate event caused the massive cruise liner to run aground, capsize and later sink in the shallow waters after hitting an underwater rock near Isola del Higlio in Tuscany. The vessel was around the Mediterranean Sea when she deviated from the proposed route and got sailed towards the island. A rescue team was immediately sent and it took approximately six hours for the team to save most of the passengers. However, 33 unfortunate souls lost their lives to the tragic incident. To find out the reasons behind the terrible event, a subsequent investigation team was formed. While working on the case, it was realised that the incident occurred due to the shortcomings in the procedures followed by Costa Concordia's crew and her captain. Francesco Chatino, the captain, was found out to have left the ship prematurely. During the trials, Chatino was found guilty and was convicted of manslaughter in connection to the disaster and was sentenced to serve 16 years in prison. It was also revealed that there was no technical fault with the vessel and the incident occurred solely because of the captain's inattentiveness. In light of that, Carnival corporations did not face criminal charges. Costa Concordia's salvage was regarded as one of the biggest maritime salvage operations and was declared a constructive total loss by the insurers. The Parbuckle salvage for Costa Concordia began on 16th of September 2013, and by the early hours of the next day, the ship was set upright on its underwater cradle. The ship was refloated the next year in July and was towed 320 kilometers to its home port in Genoa for scrapping. The scrapping was concluded in July 2017. The total cost associated with this disaster, from compensation, refloating, towing and scrapping, is estimated to be right around, or above, 2 billion US dollars, making it one of the costliest cruise ship mistakes in all history. 
The list of some of the most expensive cruise ship mistakes would definitely be incomplete if it doesn't have Titanic included. On 31st of May 1911, the almighty Titanic made its way down the River Lagan in Belfast. With an immense hull, this luxury cruise ship was considered to be the largest movable man-made object in the world at the time, with approximately 100,000 people witnessing the grandeur launch. However, based on some hypotheses, the massive Titanic was a practical doom right from the start. Featuring a double bottom and 15 watertight bulkhead compartments, this Olympic-class ship featured electric watertight doors that could easily be functioned by using a switch on the bridge. While this might sound fascinating, this turned out to be one of the main reasons why Titanic met its fate. The other perilous safety lapse that contributed to the loss of hundreds of lives was the unavailability of enough lifeboats. Considering a massive crowd of approximately 3,300 people, 16 lifeboats and 4 Engelhardt collapsible can never be considered adequate. Consequently, even if the lifeboats were fully loaded in an emergency evacuation, only one-third of the people would have been rescued. The RMS Titanic sank in the early hours of 15th of April 1912, when it reached near the coast of Newfoundland in the North Atlantic by striking an iceberg. As a result of the tragic incident, more than 1,500 people lost their lives. Even though the probable causes for the ship to sink were thought to be the gash that caused the bulkhead compartments to flood, numerous theories have emerged over the decades. Keeping aside the technical aspects of the catastrophe, Titanic's demise is still considered to be almost a mythic event to have ever happened. Next up, we have the dreadful story of SS Morrow Castle on the list. The incident was legitimately so jaw-dropping that it's a surprise that no Hollywood producer has thought about turning it into a horror movie. Even though director Fritz Lang actually started working on a script about the incident, naming it Hell Afloat, the story was never completed. During the years 1930 and 1934, the SS Morrow Castle was one of the most reliable and regularly shuttled services that carried approximately 500 passengers between Havana and New York. However, in September of 1934, something tragic happened when the vessel was returning from Cuba to the Big Apple. The incident that took place almost seemed as if it was cursed. Captain Robert Wilmot, who was in charge of the vessel, suddenly started complaining about stomach aches after eating dinner. His pain got to a point where it became unbearable for him to work forcing him to retire to his cabin. He was later found out to be dead due to an apparent heart attack. A few hours after the death of Robert Wilmot, Chief Officer William Warms had taken command of the ship. At around 3am on 8th of September, a fire started in one of the storage lockers. The fire started out of the blue. Things turned into havoc. The crew's attempts to tame the fire were inadequate and haphazard, and it was not long before things got out of control. The fire seemed impossible to contain, and the majority of the crew members abandoned the ship, leaving the passengers confused in the dark, smoky hallways. The next morning, SS Morrow Castle ran aground at Asbury Park, where the passengers were rescued. Out of the 549 people aboard, 86 guests and 49 crew members died in that tragic incident. The tale of the tragic incident of the MV Wilhelm Gustloff dates back to the time when the Soviet Union advanced on Germany's Eastern Front. In January of 1945, it became absolutely clear that the advantage in World War II was with the Allies. However, petrifying stories of murder by the vengeful Soviet forces had caused dread among the Germans. So much so, that the spectre of relentless punishment caused many who lived in the Red Army's path to abandon their homes, bidding for safety. In an attempt by the German civilians to escape from the advancing Soviets, things got out of control when they converged on the port city of Gottenhafen, which is now Gdynia, Poland. Here, the former luxury ocean liner Wilhelm Gustloff was docked. The Soviet Navy knew the probable strategies that the German civilians would go for to carry out the escape and lay in wait for any sort of transportation that crossed their path. This led them to commit something that's considered one of the greatest maritime disasters in all history. 
To be fair, the deadliest maritime disaster wasn't exactly an accident. Built as the cruise ship for Nazi Germany's tourism operations, the MV Wilhelm Gustloff also served as a hospital ship for the German Navy. On 30th of January 1945, when the Germans were losing World War II, the civilians tried escaping in MV Wilhelm Gustloff. Although the vessel was capable of carrying approximately 2,000 passengers, a whopping total of 10,582 people boarded the ship. While they sailed, they were caught on the radar of a Russian submarine. Since the ship was not marked as a hospital boat, the officers inside the Russian submarine shot three torpedoes at it. This led to the death of more than 9,000, more than six times as many passengers who died in the Titanic incident. While these stories may be terrifying, the truth is most cruises go off without a hitch. As with anything in life, there are always outliers, and it's stories like these that help to better equip and prepare future voyages, as to not have similar accidents happen again. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.